I'm Lari and welcome to your prenatal sculpt and tone workout. What you're going to need today is a nice sturdy bench. Now, if you don't have a sturdy bench, grab a very sturdy chair. Just make sure you set the back of the chair up against a wall. You will also need a set of dumbbells. Now, everyone is different with their strength level. So you have to pick a dumbbell weight selection accordingly. I'll tell you what we're doing with the rep count and then you get to decide. You can always go body weight if needed. Put on a pair of shoes, that'll provide more cushion to you. If you don't have a pair of shoes, just grab a mat. Also grab something to hydrate, so grab all of your stuff and let's get moving. All right, so you have all your equipment, make sure it's nice and out of the way. We're going to begin with a low impact, little cardio warm up. We're just gonna start to butt kick it side to side. So we bring it left, right. Dorsiflexing at the ankle, just going at your own pace reaching for your glutes. So you have a lot of options today. One of your options is going to be to reduce the range of motion on certain movements. And what that means is just limiting the range of motion. So right now, full range of motion, here's my half range of motion. I'm only going halfway with my range of motion instead of full way. Half, full, that's, a, that's an option. We can always do that. Another option is going to be with your resistance. So if we're, instead of grabbing something super heavy with your weight selection, decrease the weight selection and you can always just go body weight if needed. All right, let's focus on our breath. So let's take a big inhale up, big inhale down, big inhale up, big inhale down. All right, keep that big expansive breath. Now let's focus on where we're sending it to. On our inhale, we wanna make sure we're filling up the entire rib cage. So think about filling up the front of the rib cage, side of the rib cage, and back of the rib cage at the same time. 360 inhalation. Now, as we exhale, let's get the TVA involved. So make sure you're giving that baby a nice gentle hug up. Uh, it's not full, it's not 100%, uh -huh. but it's just like at a 40 to 50% engagement to keep your TVA nice and activated. We wanna make sure we do that so we don't apply pressure onto that tissue, that linea alba tissue that connects the rectus abdominals. We want to keep that in so we don't apply pressure, which could lead to more severe problems. So just make sure you give that baby a nice hug up on that exhale. That's what I mean by engaging the TVA. All right, bring the arms out to a T, elbows bent. Let's add the arms to it. So as we kick, just start to focus on a little squeeze of the upper back. But let's make sure not to add that belly into it. So we're not doing this. Nice and controlled, neutral spine, but you're squeezing the upper back. Now this is a small range of motion. Here's a side view. It's less than six inches. Just squeeze the upper back. Neutral spine. We have eight more like this. It's eight, seven, and six. We go to side taps. Four, three, two, side tap it. Left, right, left, right. We are not twisting from the belly, uh-uh. We are twisting from the upper body. The foot is pivoting. So think of really rotating from the shoulders. Nice, keep that big inhale and exhale. Add those side reaches, reach up, reach up. Now, if you want, I'm going kind of quick. So your option with this is to just take it a little slower. We're not going with any beat of the music. You can be right here if we need to, or if you're feeling good today, we can get that heart rate up just a little bit. So we never wanna feel out of control ever. Whenever we work out, prenatal, postnatal, non-natal, you always want to feel in control of your workouts. We have eight and six. We go to a side shuffle. Four, three, two. We're going to start it out slow. So take it. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Now you can stay with this pace or you can pick it up. Three, two, one, tap. 
three, two, one, tap. On the toes, keeping the hip point square. So there's really no jumping involved, just a little side shuffle. Three, two, one, tap. Keep that big 360 inhale, baby. Gentle hug up, very gentle. Keep the TBA activated. That'll help you postnatal as well. Three, two, one, tap. Tap. Four more, it's four. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to the center. We're gonna tap it side to side. Right, left. All right, coming up, so make sure we're twisting from the shoulders. We have three taps and then one low kick. Now I'm gonna do the option first. Everyone's gonna do the option and then we'll pick it up. So here we go. We're gonna do three taps and then one pause tap. <laughs> You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's go. Three, two, one, pause tap. Three, two, one, pause tap. Three, two, one, pause tap. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna start that low kick. Three, two, one, low kick. Three, two, one, low kick. Three, two, one, low kick. Three, two, one. Four more like this. It's four. Three, two more. Last one. Now just tap it side to side, side to side. All right, so we're gonna start tapping with the other foot. We'll begin with that pause tap before we add those kicks, let's go. It's right, left, right, left, hold. Right, left, right, left, hold. Kick or tap, pause tap, three, two, one, pause tap. Now if we can, we're gonna add that low kick, but only if you feel comfortable doing that. You can always stay with the previous option. And kick, three, two, one, and kick, three, two, one. Come on, three more, three, two, one, and tap, three, two, one, and tap, three, two, one one side reach up and over nice work we should be nice and warm by now so we're about to grab our dumbbells if you would like to take a drink of water and hydrate you can hit pause now and then come right back to us we have four three two and one great job we're going to grab your dumbbells now you don't need super heavy weights Go lighter through this. So probably three, five pounds max. Three is probably good. You can even grab a water bottle in each hand or just do body weight. So grab your dumbbells. We're going to begin really working your shoulders. Let's start with alternating lateral raises. Palms face in. We take the right hand out to the side. It's straight. We're working on the medial delt muscle. Then we control it on the way down. Left arm up and then we control. So the lower body is completely out of it. It is all in the shoulders. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale down. Awesome job. Try to keep this tempo, slow it down if you need to. All right, we're about to kick it up a notch. Now you can hang on to these alternating lateral raises, but if you want to challenge, we're gonna do an ISO hold while we just do one arm at a time. One more each side. Now we're holding the right arm up. Left arm up and down for eight. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Left arm hold, right arm for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bilateral for eight. It's eight, seven, six, come on, five more. Last four, three, two, 
last one. Great job. Curl it up, supinated grip. Now we're holding the dumbbells right here. You can always get rid of it. We have a quarter squat coming your way. So that is a reduced range of motion squat. Feet are about hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. We take it down, quarter squat. So shins, excuse me, thighs are above parallel, heavy in your heels. You should feel tension in the glutes and in the hamstrings. Then we just press it up, 15 at your own pace. Let's go, down, bring it up. Getting those glutes and hamstrings nice and warm. So make sure you drive through the heels on the way up. Knees aren't caving in, they're directly over the ankles. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Release those dumbbells long in your hands. We are doing that same thing, but instead of lateral raises, it's gonna be front raises. So palms face in, we bring it shoulder level, control it on the way down. Shoulder level, control it on the way down. If you found that the lateral raises were too challenging, adjust your weights accordingly. Grab a water bottle, do body weight, hold it, control it. Guess what? You're gonna have a baby pretty soon that wants to be held all of the time. So you gotta get that upper body strength up or else it's gonna come pretty quick whether you want to or not. Congratulations, mama. Keep it up, come on. Keep that inhale and exhale. One more each side. Now this is where it gets challenging. Right arm holds, left arm goes up. Eight, seven, lower body doesn't move. Six, five, if you're doing this, adjust the weights. Last four, three, two, left arm holds, right arm goes down and up for eight seven, six, five, four, three, come on, two more, bilateral for eight, slow and controlled at your own pace. If you need to take a breather, take it, take a few deep breaths, then get right back to it. At your own pace, come on, four more, four, we got it, three, two more. Here's your last one. Great job, supinated grip, curl it up, hold this position. We have quarter squats again, 15 at your own pace. All right, let's hit it. Heavy in the heels, bring it down. Now if you wanna take it a little bit lower this time, making it like a third of a squat, feel free to, but we're still slightly above parallel. Make sure the knees don't do that, that's not good. So I even almost drive my knees out as I press up through the heels. Exhale as we drive. Inhale down, exhale to drive. Seven more. Last six, five, four, three, two. Now hold at the bottom. We're just in that quarter squat. Bring the palms to face in. We punch right, we punch left. So a little ISO hold with this quarter squat. We're not all the way down. I mean, you can be there if you want, but I'm right here. We're just punching it out. We have 30 seconds like this, then we get a little break. Keep it up, come on, 15 seconds. Here's your last 10, nine, eight, seven. You got it, come on, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Set those dumbbells down, roll the shoulders back, roll the shoulders forward, grab a drink of water. All right, mamas, while you take a nice little break, I'm telling you what's coming your way. We have a giant set coming up. First things first, we're gonna hit the biceps, squeezing the biceps, controlling on the way down. We'll have 15 of those. After that, we have alternating step ups, 12 total, six each side. Now, if this bench is too high for you, a great option is to find like a little sturdy stool to decrease the range of motion. Another option instead of the step ups will be a reverse lunge. Just make sure you have a wall to help balance yourself. Next up, 12 total, 60 side, we have tricep dips. 
Now we're gonna be on this bench, just using body weight. If you don't have a bench, bring it to some tricep dumbbell extensions. Lastly, we're gonna be hitting the glutes with some hip thrusts. So hopefully you have that chair. We're gonna be right here, posterior tilt, driving it up and down. We'll have 20 of those body weight. So go ahead, grab your weights. So we're getting right into it. Bicep curls, supinated grip. So it's one count up and squeeze, slow and steady on the way down. One count up and squeeze, slow and steady. We're gonna take the first 10 at this tempo, and then the last five, normal tempo. Control, five more. Last four, three, two, one. Now at your own pace for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Set those dumbbells down. You can always hold on to them for a challenge. We drive through this heel, knee behind the second or third big toe. We bring it all the way down, switch feet, right leg goes up, drive through the heel, control it down. Now, if you have a wall right beside of you, this is gonna be an excellent option to help brace yourself. That's four. And remember, if we don't have a shorter stool available, if this is too much, we can always take it to that reverse lunge, reduce the range of motion as necessary. Drive through the heel. That gets the posterior chain to fire up. Four more to each side. Here's your last one, each side. Nice work, flip it around. Palms go to the bench, elbows hug in tight. We're bringing it to a chair position. We bring it down, feel tension in the triceps, and then we push it right back up. We have 15 at your own pace. Option, dumbbell tricep extensions. Here we go, 15. Exhale as you drive. You can always walk it in a little bit more. This is more challenging. This is still challenging, but more doable. Come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, slide onto that bench. The bottom of the shoulder blades are leaning up against the bench. Remember, if you have a chair, you're setting it up against a wall. So from here, this is a great glute exercise. Bring it to a posterior tilt. So hips go under very slightly. Then we drive through the heels. Now keep the hips underneath the rib cage. Feel a big squeeze of the glutes, nice and firm, and then bring it right back down. All right, we have 20 of these at your own pace. And I'm gonna show you something that I see all the time. And when people say, I only feel this in my lower back, here's what we're doing if we only feel in our low back. We're just going down and up and really driving too much with a, if you have a lordotic spine, you really wanna make sure you tuck the pelvis under just a little slight posterior tilt. Then we drive through the heels. So if we go up and down with the lordotic spine, you may feel that in your back. That's why I have everyone slight posterior tilt, drive through the heels, big engagement of the glutes. Keep it up. I learned that from the man who invented this exercise. Five more. Last five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Now hold it up, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold, bring the elbows back on. Just walk the feet forward. Bring it back into that tricep. Have a seat on your bench. You can pause here. We're gonna take a little 15 second break and then we're getting right back into it. One more round, 15 bicep curls, alternating step ups for 12. Tricep dips, 15, hip thrusts for 20. Make any adjustments that you need. All right, this is it, last round. So go ahead, stand up, grab your weights. 15, first 10 slow. Slow on the eccentric phase. So the slower we go on this eccentric phase, actually the more challenging 
it should be. More muscle recruitment. Elbows in tight, no swinging like this. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but sometimes no, I, I do see that actually. Two more, and then at a normal tempo after this one. Here we go, five at your own pace. Five, big squeeze. Four, three, two, one. Now you can keep those dumbbells in your hand or you can step them down. 12 total step ups, six each side at your own pace. Drive through the heel. This is another thing I see all the time. That thing where you step on your toes. It's really bad on your knees, so don't do that. To have the patience enough to place your entire heel on the bench and then step it up. Exhale as we drive. Six more. That's only three each side. Two more each side. You got it. Last one. Great job, turn it around. We have tricep dips, elbows hug in tight. So this is what my arm looks like from a back view. This is challenging. This is more challenging. All right, 15 at your own pace. You can always reduce the range of motion. Maybe it's only an inch down and an inch up. Taking that full range of motion is more challenging but honor how you are feeling today. Come on, we're in this together. We have seven more. Six, five, four, exhale. Come on, three more. Last two, last one. All right, let's set the bottom of the shoulder blade onto the bench, pressing back and down into it. Make sure your knees are not caving in. They are over your ankle. So bring it posterior tilt, drive through the heels, Hips underneath the rib cage, 20 at your own pace. I like to look straight forward instead of having my head like that. That's how I learned how to do them. Feels good for me. You do what works for you. But I find that this is better, feels better on my neck. Even though my chin is tucked, it does wonders. Find what works for you and do that version. Everyone's different. I had to play around with this exercise so many times to get the best glute engagement. Cause I was feeling it in my low back at one point too. Cause I was just going straight down, straight up. Come on, three more. Two, big squeeze. Last one, now we pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, eight, count, hold. Eight, seven, and six. We bring those hips down. Four, three, two, and release. Use your hands to help assist you back up, and then take a seat. Now you can take a little breather here. I'm gonna tell you what's coming next. We have bench high rows. So if you have a set of lighter dumbbells, you may possibly want to grab two dumbbells in one hand because we are hitting one side at a time and we're also hitting your back, which is a bigger muscle group than your biceps and your shoulders. So you get to make the call. We have 12 each side. Following that, we're gonna take a seat on our bench and doing extra range of motion, hip abductions. I gotta come this way to show you. So we're lying on the side of our bench. We bring it up, control it down. Now you will, if you don't have a bench or a chair, you will have to go up and down on the floor but this is what it looks like on the ground. Just up and down. The bench provides you with an extra range of motion at the bottom. I find it to be a little bit more challenging, but it's very comfortable. So grab your dumbbells. You get to choose. If you have a weaker side, do it first. So keep that engagement of the TV8 in this quadruple position. Little slight hug of the baby I've been in. Just it's very, very gentle. If you ever see coning or tinting, we gotta stop immediately and work on that mind-muscle connection with your breath. Left knee on, left hand on. We go elbows high and wide. We have 12, 11, 10, nine, big squeeze of that for back. Eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. We go to the left. So go ahead, just cross over your bench, right knee, right hand, grab your dumbbells, elbows wide. We have 12. Big squeeze to the upper back. Elbows slightly behind the shoulder still, even though it's wide. Keep that breath. We're halfway through. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, set those dumbbells off to the side. We have side line extra range hip abduction. So I'm gonna give you a different view. Sitting on my left side, right foot goes up and down. If you want, we can lay directly on the side and just do this. We have 12 at your own pace, so that's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna do that again. Rows on the right, we have 12. Let's get right to it. We have 12. Squeeze that upper back. We are almost done. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, take it to that other side. We can flip it around or we can cross that bench. Left side for 12. Hit point square, you got it. Big squeeze of the upper back. Eight more, eight, seven, six, Last five, you got it, come on, four more. Three, two, and one. All right, we have to go to that other side. So we're laying on the right side. Left foot goes like this, we're dorsiflexing. So we're coming to the edge of your bench, bringing it up and down. This provides extra range of motion. 12 at your own pace, your option. Just take it to a side lying position. We can even bring it down here. Whew. Just chilling, but the leg's working. We have four more, three, two, and one. We're coming up. Grab your dumbbells this time. One dumbbell in each hand. We have a hip hinge, high row for 12. So we wanna make sure we have good posture from here. We hinge from the hips. Elbows go high and wide. We have 12, just like this, 12. Still squeezing the upper back. Eight more, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, our last thing. Go ahead, set those dumbbells down. If you need a drink of water, grab it. We end with a 60 second wall sip. So an option, bring it to that quarter squat. We're up here. This is still challenging. This is more challenging. You get to decide your range of motion. If you don't wanna do that, we can hover the bench and just hold it right here. Come out, shake it out. Get back down when you can. 60 seconds. How do you feel today? Let's get to work, get into position. 60 seconds starts now. So this is pretty low range of motion. This is super challenging. Press the low back into the wall, but if we need to, we're right here, reducing the range of motion. <sighs> Challenge yourself. I'll let you know when we're halfway through and you can adjust however you need to in order to maintain for the final 30 seconds. <sighs> Keep that breath. Here we go, this is your halfway point. If you need to make any adjustments, if you need to bring it up, bring it up. If you're not challenged enough, wiggle it on down. Press the low back into the wall. Heavy in the heels. Knees aren't doing this. They're right here. One deep inhale, expanding through the rib cage. Exhale, slight hug of that baby. Here we go, last 10 seconds. Pregnant, not powerless. You can do this. You've come so far already. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Press off of that wall. We're going to come into a neutral hamstring stretch. We can go right here, right foot forward. If you wanna do less hinging, get a bigger stretch. 
Bring that right foot up, square off the hips, hinge from the hips. Now I don't provide a ton of stretching at the end of my videos so I can keep them nice and short, but if your body is craving more stretching, check out the prenatal uh, playlist that I have and I have some stretching in there that may be good. You can always hold these stretches longer. One deep inhale, exhale, just hinge. All right, face forward. Give yourself a hug in with the right arm. Draw the right shoulder blade down. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, left ear. Reaches over towards the left shoulder. Inhale up, switch the grip. Release right ear, right shoulder. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Grab a hold of the left wrist with the right hand. A little side bend up and over, just stretching out the left side of the body. Inhale, switch the grip. Exhale, side bend up and over to the left. One final stretch. Bring your right foot onto your bench, square off the hips, and then let's bring it to a nice runner's lunge. Now you may have to bring the, end of the body towards the left side, just so we can make room for that baby. Always ease into stretches, especially since we got that extra relax and we wanna ease into them. It should never feel painful or hurt, it should feel good come out of it. Let's bring the left foot on, make room for that baby by just stepping over to the right, square off the hips, inhale, exhale, start to hinge forward. Grabbing onto a wall for assistance. And release, awesome job today. Always just do what you can, honor your body, honor how you are feeling, and that's amazing. Let's keep it up, you're doing great, let me know. If you have any questions or comments, do it in the comments below. Let me know what you wanna see, like, subscribe, and have a wonderful rest of your day.